Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again today. So we are standing here in our guest bedroom. As you may recall from a previous video, I re completely redone this room, painted it, did some a pretty um, wall here behind me and just fixed it up for our guests um, that were coming. We've had several guests stay here now and yeah, I still really love the room, but the we always knew as we were redoing this room, getting it, you know, fixed up and things, we always knew this room would eventually be Jameson's bedroom. Um, he is, yeah, almost seven and he needs his own room. And so the blue walls were a perfect fit for, you know, a future room for him. So in today's video, we will be kind of going over this room, changing out some things, just getting it a little more um, boy friendly, but still keeping it to where we can have it for guests. Um, yeah, not making it too boyish, <laughs> but um, just making it fit for him as well as have it for a guest bedroom then as well. So I hope you enjoy coming along with me, just kind of changing out some things in the room. We won't be doing any painting or anything major like that. Just changing them some things around, changing out some of the wall decor and things. And yeah, getting it ready for Jameson's bedroom. So I hope you enjoy and keep watching. All right, so we are going to start first of all by just cleaning off all the walls, taking down all the decor, moving, you know, most of the smaller things out that are easy to move. Just cleaning up the floor space, getting everything cleared out, giving us kind of a clean slate to work with. Um, basically, I'm just leaving things in here that I know will for sure stay and moving everything else out. Now the bedding I will be changing out for something different, but I am going to keep this bedding set. Um, so when we do have guests, I'll just put this nice white one on for them. And then I have a different one that I have for Jameson. And I also wanted to go through the closet here. Currently, all of Chloe's clothes are in here. Um, so we want to take those out, of course, and also just taking down all of these blankets that we have. I wanted to go through them anyway, um, just kind of minimizing, yeah, getting rid of the ones that we don't really use, the ones that we don't need, and yeah, just kind of going through everything, cleaning out the closet space as we go. And I'm also putting in, you know, new rods and new shelves and things here in the closet. So everything really did have to come out anyways. So it was a good time to just kind of go through things um, and yeah, kind of minimize some things anyways. Now I said we weren't going to do any painting and I didn't really plan to, but after I got everything out of this closet, the walls were looking pretty bad, pretty dingy and just scuffed up. They just were not looking very nice. So I decided I'll quickly just paint the closet. Um, nothing else, just kind of freshening up these walls. Um, they did look pretty bad. So yeah, I was glad I took the time to do that. Um, and I'm just using some of the paint the leftover paint from this room that way it's all the same color
All right, and while that paint dries, we are going to be working on some um, pictures, some photos that I had got off of Etsy shop. Um, yeah, they were really pretty and I wanted to hang these in his room. Um, I will link those that shop for you in the description box. I thought the pictures were really pretty. So I got these large frames. I just got them at Walmart and I thought they would go very good in his room, kind of match with the headboard. And so I'm taking the backing out as well as the, the photo that was in there. And I also did end up taking the glass or like the plastic out. And then I am taking some poster board and matching it up with the backing of the frame and just marking it out. Now I had a different plan in mind and this didn't work. So yeah, this was kind of an extra step that I did that that didn't work out. But anyway, I just decided to keep it in here. Yeah, because sometimes plans don't go according to plan. <laughs> but anyway, I had cut this down to size just um, with a I had a serrated knife that kind of scored it a couple of times, then bent it, and then cut it on the opposite side. Um, and this was just some poster board. I thought maybe this would work for a mat, um, but the edges weren't cutting as clean as I would have liked. So that is kind of the reason why I decided not to use that and go with a poster board or like a, yeah, a poster board, which you see here. The other one was like a foam board that was a little bit thicker. So I'm just marking off um, according to the backing of the frame here so that we get a nice fit and then I'm just cutting it out with a scissors and so this will basically be our mat for our photo then. Then once we have the outside measured out to the correct measurement for the frame, I'm going to just lay the pictures on here. Um, I'm going to measure the picture, the size of the picture, make sure I have that right. And then we can go ahead and um, cut out the inside to make it into a mat. And I did um, cut the mat part, like for the interior um, cut like where the picture will throw, show through, I cut that, you know, a little bit smaller than the actual picture um, so I can attach it to the back. And then once I had that cut out, um, then I'm just going and just marking off those same measurements on the other poster board um, so that each one, they're identical. And so I know this one fits for the picture. So yeah, just using this as a pattern for the next one. This poster board has a shiny side and a more of a matte side. So I'm putting all my um, pen marks and stuff on the shiny side. That way I can use the matte side um, for the, like the good side. And then cutting out the inside here, I'm just, um, yeah, kind of the corners, I was kind of rounding them um, on my first pass and then of course um, cutting the straight edges straight and then once I had all the straight edges then I could go back and cut those corners and make them nice and square um, and get a little bit better shape rather than if I would cut them try to cut them square right away if that makes sense so here you can see me just kind of going in one way and then going in the opposite way and that just makes a nice square corner And then once the mats are finished, we're gonna go ahead and put these together. Now I am gluing the mat and the picture to this cardboard backing of the frame, um, just so that, you know, when you put it in, because there's no glass or anything up front, so I didn't want it to buckle or, yeah, I want it to, to be, you know, nice and flat. So I'm just going to um, just glue everything onto the backing board here and this was a little trial and error here my I only had a glue stick I didn't really have any other glue um, that would work for this um, yeah I didn't really think what I would need so this was what, just what I had on hand and it didn't really want to work for the photo itself but I finally did um, get it figured out and get everything 
nice and glued down nice and flat and then here's just a little bit extra here on the edges so I'm just going to cut that off so that it fits nicely into the frame nice and flat really loving how these pictures turn out they look really nice um, and very professional in my opinion to think that it's just printed a printed photo and just a cheap Walmart frame All right, and now that the paint is dry, we can go ahead and tear off all of the painter's tape. And next we will go ahead and just start putting up all these brackets for our shelves. And I did opt to do an adjustable shelf here. Um, so I'm putting um, these vertical um, pieces up first. And the reason I wanted to go with an adjustable shelf like for the rods and things in Jameson's closet is um, because the correct height for the double rods he would never be able to reach the top one at this point so I thought we can kind of you know adjust it as we need it as he gets taller um, he's growing so fast anyways and yeah as he grows taller his shirts get a little bit longer we can always adjust it up you know as yeah as we need to and then eventually we can always, you know, make it a permanent double rod if we want to. So now I am just cutting down these shelves um, to fit onto, you know, the smaller shelves. And I'm just using a big, I think this is a bolt cutter to cut these and it worked really good. Um, yeah, it makes cutting a breeze for these. So I'm just cutting them down to the correct size and we will um, be needing several of these. And then once I have them cut down, they'll just fit on here. So I'm gonna do one side, uh, a double rod, and then the other side will just be a couple shelves um, just for some extra blankets, some of my sewing things. That I did get these rod brackets. I thought these would work, but these are for a different brand of shelving. Um, yeah, they're not gonna work for these as you can see. So I went back, took these back and got these um, that you see here. These are a little bit different, but there's actually a screw that you can screw them on from the front. Um, so you put just this little plate on top and then the little screw that goes in, just make that nice and tight and you got a place for your rod. Next, we're just going to vacuum out the closet really well uh, before we start putting things in the closet back in and just make sure everything is nice and clean. And now we can start just hanging up some clothes. So I'm kind of separating his clothes, you know, his, uh, like the church clothes up top there, his pants, um, his long sleeve shirts. And we can't forget the little fire, fireman outfit. He wore this to school one day when they had dress up. It was so adorable. And he just, he loves firemen and things like that. So we're going to keep that in his closet that he can um, wear it um, every now and then if he wants to. And then on the other side, yeah, like I said, we're just going to add in a few shelves here uh, just for, you know, some extra things. And then I also did want to add in these little um, safety end pieces here just so, yeah, these ends are a little bit sharp and I didn't want it to, you know, be scratching up anything in the closet. And I did go ahead and roll up my quilts here, as you can see, and then putting a rubber band around the ends just to keep them to where they won't be unrolling. And this definitely uses less space, I think, um, than what the quilts did before. So I really like this way of um, storing the quilts. And then as you've seen, I just stored some of the extra throw blankets and things um, on one of those shelves as well. Moving on to just, yeah, starting to clean up the room. It feels so good to have, you know, the closet done. And now we can just move on to cleaning up the rest of the room, getting everything back in order and putting this room back together. And I also did want to add 
a hook um, system behind the door just for um, a few things to you know, like hang up just a handy little place to hang some things up um, so I got this one by six I think it's two foot in length and I went ahead and just sanded it down really well um, before I stained it um, this is a kind of a grayish stain and yeah, I wasn't sure how it's going to turn out, but um, it turned out okay in the end. I'm just putting on some stain and then I'll wipe off all of the excess. And while that is drying, I'm going to go back inside and start hanging up some curtains. Now I did remove this headboard. You'll have to let me know which one you prefer with or without the headboard. I thought maybe these curtains would kind of act as a headboard, um, you know, because the bed is centered on the window, but I wasn't quite sure. Um, I did end up putting the headboard back, but yeah, I, I just wasn't quite sure if I liked how it looked, you know, just with the curtain there. Um, it looked kind of empty or yeah looked like something was missing I think now these are the curtains that were um, in the kids bedroom these are blackout curtains they're just a nice soft gray color they're really pretty and yeah they do really block out the sunlight so here you see the headboard I put that back again um, yeah I just thought it looked a little bit better so now we can go ahead and hang up these pictures, just measuring here to find my center, um, trying to figure out how far up I want these, just, yeah, make, taking a few measurements and then we'll get these hung up. And then over here on this side, um, it's a little bit narrower, but we're just going to, again, just center it on this wall and get this one hung up as well. And then after they were hung up, um, I stood back and you, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but one just looked a little bit lower than the other one. So I measured them from the top of the, the trim there to the bottom of the picture. And sure enough, one was a little bit lower than the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust that really quickly. And here is our little um, shelf piece all ready to put together. Now I had these shelves, I just had these on hand from a different project um, and I thought I would just use the rest of these. I had five left and I thought that would fit in there really nicely. So to start off with, we're just going to find the center one um, and put that one in and just kind of try to get it centered on the board and then we'll go ahead and put in the rest of them. And if you do remember where I put these hooks um, in a different project, let me know. I would love to know if you remember. And for those of you that are newer than that video, I will give you a hint and put that video down in the description box for you. So there is the um, hooks all finished and it's ready to put up. So now we, all we had to do was just find a stud here on this wall and there was only one that was behind 
this um, shelf or these hooks so I put two um, on top of each other and I think that'll be fine so next we are starting to fill up these dressers um, with Jameson's clothes and I'm going through all his t-shirts and things and there was a few in there that were just too small just not fitting him anymore so I'm gonna kind of go over them and get out the ones that don't fit anymore and just kind of organizing um, his drawers now here I made a few little stickers on my Cricut um, just to kind of help him put his clothes away where they're supposed to go. So here we have um, a shirt, t-shirt one, and yeah, these are for his uh, like pajamas top and bottom, this drawer. So we're going to have two um, little t-shirts here in the front and then in the back will be for his uh, pajama bottoms. So hopefully that'll help, you know, kind of keep things a little more organized, you know, if he's putting away his own clothes. All right, and now we are just kind of, yeah, putting in some finishing touches, um, getting everything cleaned and wiped down. And I have these two matching frames that I was going to put in, you know, some photos. Um, you'll see those in just a little bit here. First of all, we're going to just put some decorations up here on top of this um, little drawer. Um, yeah, what do you call this thing? <laughs> it's for clothes and things, but I'm not quite sure what, what you would call this. But anyways, I did use some of my Christmas greenery. Um, you probably recognize that from like Christmas, but I thought it would be, you know, kind of uh, masculine and would go well in this room. So now just, yeah, arranging a few things, trying to get everything looking right um, on the top there. And then we'll move on to making the bed, getting his new sheets on, and then um, I also did go ahead and get a quilt for him as well. And then the last thing that I wanted to do was just make a little gallery wall above his desk. So I got a few things from Hobby Lobby and we're going to go ahead and put those on top of his little desk area. So just trying to arrange them kind of on the floor before I put them up on the wall um, so I kind of know how they'll look like. And so now it's just getting everything up on the wall, making sure everything is straight and looks right. Then we are going to be finished. So here is the final review of Jameson's little bedroom makeover. Loving how everything turned out. He is very happy with his bedroom as well, um, but it still makes it nice and functional. If we do have guests, just change out the bedding, just get everything ready really quick, and it's a guest bedroom. So hopefully I kind of got that balance between uh, guest bedroom, but also making it into Jameson's bedroom for him as well. What do you think?
I hope you enjoyed this video of kind of transforming this bedroom um, and hopefully it gave you some inspiration um, if you are wanting to do kind of a bedroom transformation as well. Uh, it often doesn't take a lot to just transform a bedroom, make it look very different, but change the whole look of the room. All right, I will leave you with that. I will see you next time. Bye.